The Primary Healthcare Research and Information Service, PCRIS, was one of four organisations behind the fourth Rural and Remote Health Scientific Symposium. And at that symposium we heard from some of the major data holders in Australia about the data they have, how we can access it and how it will help improve the health and well-being of people who live in rural and remote areas. It was absolutely fascinating to know what we can do to make even greater use of the considerable data we have in Australia for rural and remote health. There's a lot of evidence out there about uh, the things that people think work. The fundamental problem though is that issue of the word evidence because I say there's a lot of evidence, um, there's a lot of views I suppose, there's a lot of data, there's a massive amount of data but the government actually wants something that's evidence based. The Australian Health Survey. We have been running since 1970, about every three years. But in 2011-12, we received additional funding from the then um, Australian Government Department of Health and Ageing and the National Heart Foundation to add additional components around nutrition, physical activity and biomedical components. The Australian Health Survey was a household survey. It was conducted by face-to-face -face interview with about one adult and one child in each household. I just want to comment a little bit on the power of influence in terms of data and evidence. The challenge I think for all of us is to present research that answers questions that are useful to decision makers. And when I say useful, um, we're always thinking about how we present information in an objective way that makes, helps make the case for something. There is competition obviously for time and opinion, particularly for um, our government leaders, but also for the departments who you're trying to sell an idea to. It's important to understand from the beginning that the Medicare records, you know, the purpose that they serve, they weren't primarily invented for research. Nevertheless, the, um, the Medicare record does have the potential to, to track individual patients and also to track individual providers. The statistics for Medicare are released regularly, quarterly, and they're available on the um, health website and DHS website. Certainly the value and the power of evidence in making a case for um, government is, is important. Obviously the purpose of the meeting was to try to see how we can make better use of data, data systems, data services. Uh, to improve policy and programs for rural remote health. So there was a strong emphasis on actually taking the data, using it and translating it into new policies and programs. It was a great success. There was a terrific energy in the room, but of course the real answer now lies in the steps we can take together, all of us, to act on the things we've decided because this is an ongoing challenge, but a very positive one. So work with us if you will and together I'm sure we can improve the way we use our data and ultimately the health of people in country areas. Thank you.